All right, now once we have our data entered into our list, our next step is that we want to create the scatter diagram or the scatter plot off of that data. So here are our instructions. We're, once we've finished entering in our data, we're going to quit out of this mode. So we want to do second, and then you see how quit is written right here above mode? We want to hit second mode to quit out and go back to our home screen. Now we want to go to stat plot. So we're going to see how stat plot is written right here above the y equals. So again, to access that, we need to hit the second key. So second y equals would put us in this stat plot menu. We are going to choose number one. We're going to just use the first plot. So we're going to hit enter. Now you should see this screen right here. Do you see how right now off is highlighted but my cursor is flashing on? Okay, I want to hit enter when it's flashing on on because this is where my cursor is right now. Enter acts like an on off switch. It, it if your if your cursor's flashing on something and you hit enter, it'll turn it on or it'll turn it off depending on what you want. So here I've turned this on. Now your type, it should have this very first one highlighted. This is our scatter plot. We have some other types of plots that we can do also. Histograms, and these are box and whisker plots. Um, if you take statistics, you may be doing some of these other things. But for right now, we're just using the scatter diagram. If this is highlighted, you're fine. If not, we need to arrow down, and again, while your cursor's flashing on top of it, hit enter to turn it on. Your X list should be L1. Your Y list should be L2. Now, if either one of those is not, um, then we can always change that. If you hit, like for instance, let's say that yours looks like this. If this is an L3 instead of an L1, then you just put your cursor on top of it. And remember, L1 was written right here above the number 1. We'd hit second, 1, and change that into an L1. And your Y list again should be L2. This mark, this just tells us what those data plot points are going to look like. You can either make them just plenty little dots or plus signs. I usually just use these boxes. I think that um, is a little bit easier to read. Okay, so once we have all of our this menu completed, the next thing we need to do is we need to hit zoom, which is right here in the center of the top row. Hit zoom, and then if we arrow down to number 9, we'll see something that says zoom stat. This is going to adjust your window perfectly to fit statistical data or data in your list. So again, you can either arrow down to the number 9 and then hit enter, or once you get more familiar with this, you're just going to hit zoom 9 and be done with it. So now we have our data points plotted, um, and the window perfectly fits. We can see the data very easily. Each one of those six data points that we had in our list are now plotted on an X and a Y axis system. Okay, so now again, just to quickly review what we did. Once we were in the stat mode, we were here where we had our list. The next thing we needed to do was quit out of there. And then we went second, y equals to get to our stat plot menu. We hit enter. We made sure that all of this was correct. Make sure that it's on. And then we hit zoom 9. The more you practice with this, the faster and the easier that it will come.